Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean Solo 8 and today I'm going to be going over another Star Wars The Black Series Gaming Greats action figure. I've got Darth Nihilus here. It says Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, I know him best though from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which I used to play him all the time and I will show you guys a clip which I purposely logged back onto my account to just get for you guys. Here's a write-up on the back. Feel free to pause and read that. It's got some incredible box art. Nothing on the top of the box at all. On this side of the box, it does say Darth Nihilus. And yeah, it's just red on that side. Here is your barcode and a bunch of choking hazards. But yeah, that box looks great. If you want to keep them in the package, you definitely could. But you know why you're here. We want to see what he looks like out of the box. So without further ado, let's open up Darth Nihilus and let's take a closer look. Boom, Darth Nihilus is out of his package, and here I have him from a pose from Galaxy of Heroes where he's sucking souls from his opponents, and then once he gets all those souls, he gets it ready for the Annihilate move, which I'll show you right here. And here we have Darth Nihilus just about ready to annihilate somebody, just like on the game. That he can't quite get in those perfect poses from Galaxy of Heroes, but that's fine, so 100% not quite and one last pose of dark nihilus which is probably how i'll have him on my shelf just like this which looks pretty cool so without further ado let's get darth nihilus off of here and let's take a closer look and first of all we're going to check out this lightsaber that he comes with you can see mine is a little bit warped but it's okay the blade is a little bit different all the paint is silver all throughout but yeah mine's warped right there i'm not sure if it comes out yeah it does so uh, should be a, a pretty easy fix then and it's not quite translucent it's very very dark I'm not sure if that's more sith like or not but darth nihilus the the face is exactly like i was hoping for just super dark eyes very very menacing looking you can see a hint of a mouth in there and of course uh, i got that this was a mask and it made people possessed and uh there's you know Revan's mask that took place back then I mean there's all kinds of cool stories that went down and hopefully well I'm, I don't think it's canon but he is in Galaxy of Heroes and that's made by Disney so what do you guys think and then of course the body everybody wants to compare this to Darth Maul's I do have Darth Maul here so this black is really making this white go crazy on the back okay i'm gonna put darth nihilus's box in the back because it is gonna help with this review because he's so black and it makes the white just pop out on my screen but this is all really soft and it does bend up and it's a different texture underneath on his legs his legs look absolutely cool he's got some awesome looking boots with some straps there's really no different color to associate to show you the different tone unless you're really staring at it his arms don't go up too high at all which is a little bit of a bummer his cape is nice and smooth mine is tattered a little bit up here but it's from some stitch because it's stitched right there underneath on both sides as you can see underneath it looks the same this almost looks like two pieces on top but it's just a mold but inside the mask, there's cloth in there too, right underneath his chin. And of course, he's got these really nice shiny, glossy gloves and nice texture all throughout. Darth Nihilus doesn't look down very well at all. He doesn't look good either. And he does turn side to side. And when he does turn, his cape wants to go with him always. He's got a nice single joint in the waist which enables him to tilt all different directions. Uh, his arm goes up about that high. He's got a very strange single jointed elbow in here. And of course, a swivel in the wrist. And then there's also a nice hinge in that hand. This hand hinges this way. And Darth Nihilus kicks up really good. Kicks back pretty well. He's got that double jointed knee in there. And he's got no boot cut. He's got a swivel back there on a hinge with some peg holes on the bottom. So let me compare him to Darth Maul. Okay, here's Maul and Nihilus just to see comparison. And it does look like 
the upper chest is the same on here let's take a look yeah it does look the same on that yeah the back is the same on mall too and it almost looks like the belt is but the belt definitely isn't the back part is different his legs are the same crazy his boots yeah his boot is the same too look at that that is crazy but it's it's darth maul how wild is that but uh anyway you can tell i'm surprised i didn't think the similarities uh went that far but that is shocking are these the same gloves this glove is actually my goodness they almost look the same too crazy that's just wild but yeah it looks like their gloves are the same too except uh darth maul's arm is skinnier that's absolutely wild all right that's gonna wrap up my review of darth nihilus feel free to check out one of the videos up on the screen consider subscribing and i will see you guys in the next video